the FD alumni class of 2001 versus the rivals and hosts of the tournament class of 2000. The game started and ended physical and most jawing coming from Jude Lizama and Steve Phillips. Frankie Perez handing it off to Paulino, drawing the foul from Nick Santos and getting the shot to go. The intensity of the game was like no other with all players from both teams getting into every play. Class of 2000 trying to stay cool under pressure. Star of 2000 Nick Santos trying to get his team to lead down by one but misses and great hustle by Jude Lizama fighting for every rebound, collecting three on the play alone and getting his team the extra possessions. Off the inbound, Drew trying to get over the defense but puts it too strong off the back rim allowing Steve S.P. Phillips to break away for an uncontested layup. Class of 2000 down by 4 needing help from all angles, getting an open 3, pulling lead within single possession. But free throws from Frankie Paris iced the game late with the class of 2001 eliminating class of 2000. An exhibition game in effect last night between a trio of classes put together in class of 1985, 86, and 87 going up against class of 93. Baza trying to keep up with 93, but the younger guys from 93 kept the pressure on them, pulling away with the game late in the first half, capitalizing on second chance points and easy layups. Verdalio showing them the touch on the jump shot, taking a pass from Baza, getting the turnaround jumper to go. For class of 85, 86, 87, a special guest in the building is Anthony Babauta, Assistant Secretary of the Interior for Obama, showing his skills on the court, sinking a three from the wing. He can definitely still play ball. Class of 93 showing great ball movement, allowing three different players to touch the ball before getting an easy layup. More in the passing game from 93 as JJ gets an open shot to push the big lead even further. Although 93 win the game, Verdalio with good ball control finding the man of the hour, Mr. Babata, for his second three of the night. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Robert Balahadi.